everyone welcome back to another youtube video if you're new here welcome on this channel we're gonna do nails laugh have fun talk shit and all of that good stuff y'all so today's video i'm not gonna say it's a little bit different but it kind of sort of is so we're gonna be doing a full set of acrylic nails i haven't done one of these videos in a little minute to where i show the whole process of me actually prepping and all of that for a full set of acrylic nails so i'm not no expert i'm not a licensed nail tech or anything like that so if i do something in this video and you're like oh well i don't do it that way well baby to each its own everybody have their own way of doing stuff don't come for me okay so today we're gonna be doing some duck nails and let me tell y'all how i ate the girls down with this like the application was the application let's just say the application was given okay so starting off with the prep y'all seen i went in with my cuticle pusher and usually when i'm doing a full set of nails like not a pop-off set and i have to go through like the entire prep where i have to use all these different implements i do have this box where i put them in because i don't want to mix them up with my sterile with my clean implements and use it on somebody else so i do like to put the dirty implements aside in a container of its own so i know that i need to clean those so even though i'm not you know like a professional nail tech i'm not a licensed nail tech to where i actually do people nails like um i do take riley you are so nasty i do um take it very serious when it comes to cleaning my implements and not reusing the same like say for instance buffer or hand file or somebody i know back in the day when i used to go to like the nail shop and stuff to get my little dip powder and my and like my little sets and stuff like they be using the same stuff on people like am i tripping or do y'all nail shops do that too like they be using the same stuff on people but baby i don't play that um so yeah anyways after i went in with my cuticle pusher i did go in with uh that pointy looking cuticle bit to get up under there and basically just remove all that white stuff that was under nail and then i'm gonna go in with this ball bit because y'all know if you're new here, I'm going to tell you my horror story when it comes to doing nails is them cuticle nippers. I don't mess with them cuticle nippers. I used it one time on Vicky. Y'all know Vicky, girl who be in my life. This was nails I'm doing right now. I did one little snip and it was blood. It traumatized me. I said, oh my gosh, like I think I cut too far down and actually cut your skin. Baby, after that, I ain't touch it. I threw away my nippers. I promise to God I did. And then I found out about these ball bits, so that's what I started using. After I'm finished with the ball bit, I'm going to go in with this skinny mandrel bit, and I'm just going to remove the shine off her nails. Um, her nails do look a little... She told me prior, before me even started her nails, she was like, girl, I've been stressing today at school. I've been biting my nails. I said, okay, Victoria, you always bite your nails, sis. But y'all, it was bad. Sis was stressing real bad. She was eating the skin and everything. I, asked, I had to ask her if she was hungry. Here, Adrian. So yeah, so during this full set, y'all, I am going to show both of the hands. I know usually when I post my videos, I only like to show one of the hands just to make the video, you know, like a little bit more time friendly, not so long of a video. So this is a longer, a longer kind of video, y'all. Um, most the, All the implements that I've used so far, I did purchase off Sheen. I highly recommend going on Sheen for little stuff like that, like your drill bits um i've or purchased plenty of drill bits on sheen and i've never had a problem with like quality and stuff like that but if you are looking for like really really high quality drill bits i do recommend panna they're really really good they last long but i do suggest changing out your drill bits every couple every other month every couple months okay these duct tips i did purchase these off sheen as well um they're not bad but i feel like they're not as ducky as they should be like ducky um so i am going to be doing a moon cut on these and where i messed up at i should have did the moon cut before i placed her nail tips on her fingers because it's just easier for me that way instead of going in with my e-file and doing it after the fact um so the, the cuticle the nail tip cutters weren't doing it for me so i did decide to go on with these scissors i did purchase these i believe off amazon y'all these scissors are sharp as hell i have seen these on sheen as well and i'm gonna go go back and get me some so yeah now i'm just placing her fingers side by side make sure all her nails are the same length because 
we don't want no one nail to be short and then the next nail be taller than the other nail so i do like to just go in especially when i'm you not using my magnets some people say when you use the magnets to still go in and check but i don't because shoot it's as accurate as it's gonna get so i do like to um go in and do this step i don't skip this step next i'm gonna go with my 80 80 grit hand file i did purchase these hand files off amazon but y'all i do have nail file and people be asking me this all the time and it be killing me y'all like it's so irritating when when people get to asking me oh well don't you sell nail files don't you sell this and that why you don't use your own stuff miss ma'ams because i done spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars of, on all these damn nail products baby i'm gonna use them up hello i'm gonna use them up okay so yes i get what y'all saying but dang like i didn't buy all these nail products for no reason i'm gonna use it i'm gonna get my money's worth y'all literally done spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on amazon sheen all these damn brands and stuff i done spent all this money on all these nail products baby best believe i'm gonna use it oh why you don't just give it in giveaways Baby, because I don't spend how much money on it, baby. I'm going to get my money's worth. Thank you. So, yeah, y'all. That's that. I'm glad I got that out the way because, you know, y'all been. Well, I'm not going to say y'all. Select few been. Oh, don't you sell this, that, and a third? Why you don't use it? Okay, don't come for me because I have my reasons behind why I do the things I do. Okay, so after I'm finished filing these nails, all I do is just crisp up the free edge to make sure that it's even. I'm going to go in with that same skinny mandrel bit and just blend the nail tip with her natural nail. And also, I like to rough up the surface a little bit because, I don't know, when it comes to duck nails, it just helps me see the shape a little bit more. So, I do that. It's not really mandatory. You don't have to do this, but this is just something that, this is just something that I do. Um, so, I'm going to do that to both of the hands and then I'm going to get in with my dehydrator and my primer so now what i like to do when before i dehydrate is i like to go on with like a no a lint free wipe and some swipe from young nails and just clean off her nails and to just just to basically remove all the extra dust because what i had to do not too long ago is i had a my old dehydrator y'all know i use the model ones dehydrator and i noticed like there was like a whole bunch of particles and stuff floating around in it because what would happen was after i go in and blend the nail tip there will be all that extra dust left on her nails and when i go to to apply my dehydrator it will get on the the brush applicator and it would you know get in my dehydrator so i had to get a whole new one um so i am using my model ones dehydrator my young nails protein bond and then this right here i purchased this from my beauty supply warehouse the other day is the Mia Secret Primer. I've never ever used this because y'all know I use my Young Nails Protein Bond and my No Lift Nail Primer. But I be seeing people say that the Mia Secret is good. And Vicky, let me tell you something about Vicky. One thing about Vicky, she gonna pop some nails off. And I be asking her like, girl, that shit don't hurt. Like, how you just pop them off like that? Like, I be thinking maybe all my application don't be good and stuff or maybe it's the primer i'll be using on her nails but baby it's not that because i'll be doing my mother-in-law nails too and she be having her nails on for like a month literally a month no lifting no nothing literally so i don't know vicky high school must be stressing sis out because she get to popping them nails off and i'll be like girl i'm gonna stop doing your nails because you got me over here using all my little products and stuff and just for you to pop them nails off baby you're gonna have to start paying me like she like her mom do be paying me which my mother-in-law is my husband's little sister like she do be um tipping me and stuff like that which i tell her she don't have to but you know it's nice to know that my service was appreciated um but yeah she be popping the bitches off i be like girl that don't hurt because y'all let me tell you i did me a short set on my right hand just for fun because i was bored and i've been trying to pop them off and they is not budging. Like, I'm picking it, picking it. So, if you look at it right now, like, they look messed up because I've been trying to pop them off. Okay, so let me talk to y'all about how I like to do my application. Y'all see it, though, y'all. <laughs> y'all see it. We're looking at the same finger, right? This the pinky finger. We're looking at the same thing. I ate. Ate down. Here, Adrian. Um, so, yeah, when I get to the next thing, pick that up off the floor. That piece of egg that just dropped. When we get to the next finger, I'm going to tell y'all how I like to do my 
um thing okay i've gotten questions before in the past do you use a three beat method do you use a two beat method do you use a one beat method i the method i use is the however many beads i need to use method that's the method i use but it just so happened for these nails i would say you know to be more technical i would say i this is more of like a three beat method but you'll see me go in with smaller beads in the cuticle area where i feel like it's a little too thin and it needs a little bit more structure so the first bead i place is always where the the nail tip and the natural nail meet so that is going to be much of a bigger bead bigger bead compared to the rest of the other beads okay after that bead the second bead that i place you see i do it as um right on top of the previous bead so it's gonna be this is not the cuticle bead you guys this isn't the cuticle bead as you can see there's still a gap right there between that second bead and the cuticle area so i always like to do it like this okay now so this right here is my cuticle bead when i place my cuticle bead i don't really do too much i place my bead down and gently gently tap it and as you can see the acrylic is automatically going to flow into that cuticle area so and when i first started practicing nails what i would do is i would overthink it and i would stress myself out when it comes to the cuticle bead and i would just flood the cuticle area you don't have to do that you place the cuticle bead as close as possible to the cuticle area and it's automatically going to flow into place do y'all see that cuticle cuticle application on that finger i just did it's literally perfect and it's going to be like that with all of the nails because i just let the acrylic do its work it's just it's automatically gonna especially if you have your um liquid to powder ratio like down pack and you know you familiarize yourself with the products because every acrylic is not going to be the same you know some acrylic you're going to have to work with a wetter bead with a dryer bead um so just as long as you familiar familiarize yourself with that um again here i am going in with that second bead i'm placing it slightly away from the cuticle directly on top of the previous bead that i just placed um and also y'all when you're when y'all doing these the second and third bead you always want to wipe from the bottom don't wipe from the top because all you're gonna do is you're gonna be wasting product and you're gonna wipe all that acrylic off so what i learned and i'm self-taught y'all everything that i know is from trial and error is from watching um everyone else on youtube um so yeah and i've you know notice my application has gotten so great like i've gotten so much better and if you've been watching me from the from when i first started then you'll know that i came a long way like the sets that i used to post of me doing on vicky hand baby they were atrocious atrocious diabolical but anyways here i am with my cuticle bead like i said i placed that bead as close as i possibly can get it to the cuticle area and i gently tap and it's automatically gonna flow into the cuticle area do y'all see that and then I'm going to wipe up around where I need to. And it's very minimal because I just, I don't know, like, it's it's, it's starting to become just natural to me. Um, So, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for the application. The brush that I'm using is Dream Nail Supply size number, hold on, no, I might be lying. This is Kiara Sky size number 10. Yes, this is Kiara Sky size number 10 Kalinsky nail brush. Um... The acrylic oh my god how did i forget to mention the acrylic because look at this acrylic i feel like the application would not be how it's looking if i wasn't using this acrylic this is a dream nail supplies newest cover color called creamy peach i do have it available on the website now for purchase it is in a six no a four out oh, excuse me a four ounce and a two ounce y'all i'm so tired Mom. i just got off work and I'm so exhausted. I didn't get no sleep because all last night, the lady yelling, help me, help me. I'm like, girl, what you want? She talking about some, can you tell me whose house is this? I want to know if I'm safe here. Y'all whole time she in her bed in her house. But y'all know how people with dementia be like, they get confused and stuff like that. So it was a long, long, long freaking night. <laughs> um, And then I'm debating if I should go to sleep now or not because my son has an ophthalmologist. Is that what you call it? He, shit, he got an eye doctor appointment to go do his eye exam to get his, see what prescription lenses he need and stuff like that. Yo, ain't nobody ever tell me the damn eye doctor was that expensive, y'all. 
I had to pay $69 for the exam when I first went there. Then I had to pay another um, $95 for the some other exam where you have to put the eye drops in before the appointment so his eyes can be dilated. And then I had to pay another $10 for these eye drops. And y'all, these eye drops is literally like four drops in there. Literally, it's not even like a half ounce of eye drops. It's literally like literally four drops that I had to pay $10 for. So he has an eye doctor appointment at 11.30. But I have to put the eye drops in his eyes like two to three hours before his appointment and then one hour before his appointment. So I know if I go into deep sleep, baby, I'm not going to hear my alarm. So I'm going to try to stay up. Um, It's kind of, I don't know, because I'm tired as hell. And then I'm going to have to drive all the way over there, wake up. So, oh, what time is it? I don't know. So... <sighs> I'm so sorry, y'all, but I'm so exhausted. I'm exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. But, shoot, I got to get my son his glasses for school and all that. What you doing? You think you slick. Put the cup of juice back down. Matter of fact, drink it because you think you slick. Well, y'all, this little boy think he's so slick. He is so sneaky. Riley, Riley don't care. Riley going to do it in front of your face. I'm watching him, and he watching me to see if I'm looking at him. He picked up the cup of juice off the dressers, and he was going to go out in the living room because he liked to throw. He liked to put stuff in the cup. He liked to put stuff in the cup and, and, and let it flow and stuff. Riley, you're not eating no chocolate this early in the morning. Come finish eating the eggs. Y'all, Riley made her eggs, scrambled eggs by herself. Y'all, she cracked it. She literally cracked the eggs. I show. I said, Riley, you crack it on the counter like this. I tried to teach her the easiest way to do it. Crack, she cracked it on the counter and then she put it over the pot and she cracked it open with two hands. She was like, crack it open. It was so freaking cute. And she did it and she didn't get no eggshells in the pot. I mean, I wouldn't care what she did anyways because I'm not the one eating this. She cooked it for her and her brother. And then I just made some of those. Y'all know those, um, those already cooked pan frozen pancakes? Those little Funfetti mini pancakes that you buy in like the freezer side in Walmart? Eat the eggs. Yeah, I put like four of those in the microwave for them. They're like really, really mini. Here, Adrian. So, yeah, that's what I have to do today. Y'all, I was supposed to go live yesterday to swatch the summer collection. But I ended up having to, my son has a, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday to go get his vaccines and stuff for school. Which is, um, y'all, let me tell y'all this. When I first had my son and he was in the hospital, I didn't let him get none of those vaccines. Y'all could talk about me and say what y'all want about me. But... I'm not really a vaccine person. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm not even a vac vaccine person. But, um, and I know people are like, oh my gosh, if you don't vaccine your kid, they, they put other kids at risk and this, that, and the third. But when I had my daughter, um, her dad, Riley's dad, he, you know, you know, he was telling me, just let them get the vaccines that they need. Because, you know, we're not in Jamaica. We're not living in Jamaica no more. This is, we in America. And, you know, things are different. Da, da, da. And I'm looking at him like, what the fuck that got to do with me? Like, I stand on what I stand on. And then he was just like, you know, when it come time for them to go to school, it's a requirement that they have to get, like, hep hepatitis and them all those damn shots and stuff so that's how i ended up getting my son into the vaccines and stuff let me know how y'all feel about that are you pro vaccine or not see me personally i'll let myself get them but i don't know it's just something about such a like a newborn baby like just getting that stuff in their body i don't know what it's doing to them i don't know what it is so but yeah now i don't have a problem with it because my man done y'all he done change my views and stuff like that i still say like as a newborn baby i don't know it's just something here adrian but yeah y'all see the application the application is eaten yeah i'm trying to i know i've been talking for a minute but i'm trying to keep myself awake because y'all don't understand i'm so freaking tired but i have to in the next what hour i have to give him his first eye drops and y'all wish me luck because i did it last night and he was freaking screaming um so i'm trying to talk so i can keep myself awake i'm freaking tired oh this is what i was saying yeah i was supposed to go live yesterday so we can swatch the summer colors and name them but it literally took me like two hours in his doctor's appointment because they they told me they lost his damn shot record so i had to call his doctor from when I, we were living in tennessee 
I had to call the doctor for them to email me all his other stuff because my baby was not going to sit there and get poked six, seven, eight times if he's already gotten those vaccines. So, um, yeah, y'all. And then after that, I had to go to his eye doctor to go pick up the eye drops. And then by the time I came home, it was time for me to shower and get ready for work and everything. So I'm going to try to do it today after I come. Oh, shit, I'm lying like hell. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'll go live after I get back from his eye doctor appointment. But y'all don't even know, as soon as I come back home, I'm finna turn that fan on high. I'm finna rub my feet together, baby. And I am finna go to sleep. I'm finna put on my little, my rain music. That should be putting me in a deep ass sleep. Put on my damn rainforest music and stuff. I don't want to hear no birds. I don't want to hear no damn, I want to listen to the rain, like hard rain. And I'm going to pass out, so I'm not even going to lie to you. Depending on what time I wake up, maybe I'll go live. If not, it's going to have to wait until tomorrow. Because, yeah. I'm so tired. I'm so, so freaking tired. So, I'm going to let y'all watch the application. Finish watching this application. Um. Oh, and another thing, if you guys are wondering, I do not encapsulate these. Because I am using a cover color. It's more dense. I do just um built my nail with this with my cover acrylics now if i was using like a colored acrylic i would encapsulate because i don't know i don't like seeing the colored dust so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing you guys i'm pretty much done with the application now do y'all see how her nail how her skin look around her nail like sis was going at it she was hungry um so after i'm finished with the application i'm gonna start e-filing and stuff so i'm gonna jump back in and let you guys know what i'm using to e-file All right, y'all, so I am back. I'm back, and um, I know one minute the nail was straight, and the next minute it had a moon cut. That was because um, when I started doing her nails, I didn't have in my mind that I was going to do moon cut. But then when I started filing, I asked her, I'm like, hey, do you want moon cut? Because in my head, I'm like, these would look real cute if there was moon cut. So she was all like, what's moon cut? I said, girl, go on Pinterest and look. And she was like, yeah. So i did do that off camera because it was so last minute and i was out of frame because i was trying to you know just hurry up and do it because like I, I mentioned before i usually do like to do my moon cut before i apply the nail tips so i did do it off camera y'all can see all i did was i turned her hand backwards as if i was looking at her nails from her perspective and i just did it that way because it's so much easier to get it even um that way so that's what i ended up doing y'all tell me why before i even because vicky usually let me do whatever i want to do with her nails she literally like she'll probably give me like an inspo picture or tell me you know like what color she pushing for but she usually let me do whatever i want but this time i'm like girl what you want she was like mm, duck i'm like okay cool and since i did that last black duck nails on her she been you know she been wanting some duck nails and i'm really glad because i need more practice on that shape 
No, the fuck you didn't. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all heard that. Roddy literally can't. Ugh. Bro, you stink. She literally came right here, tooted her booty up and pooted. She tooted and pooted right on me. And she laughing like it's funny. You need to stop hanging around your daddy and learning all this nasty stuff because I ain't teach you that. Do you stink? And she think it's so funny. Where was I? Riley. Get off me. Somebody think. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So this time, I was, she was like, she was like, oh, she want Doug. I'm like, okay, cool. What kind of, you know, like you got an inspo pick, like, or you just want me to do whatever. She's like, something easy, um, maybe some French tips. I'm like, easy and French tips shouldn't be this in the same sentence. Like I was trying to hurry up and do this set, then the sis gonna talk about she want French tips. That's not even the end of it, y'all. And then she gonna talk about some, oh, I know I want a bling French, a bling French. Y'all, she had me going through it, but I'm like, you know what? It'll be cute. Let me just do it. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing. It turned out really, really, really cute. Um, yeah, it turned out really cute. Very proud of it. Um, but anyways, after I'm finished using my e-file, I did use the e-file for the moon cut and for the cuticles, stealing the cuticles. I am going to go in with that same 8080 grit hand file. Um, and I do get my, my use out of these files because I don't use it again. Unless, you know, I keep it and I use it on her nails again. I am going to... I'm not going to say I'm reshaping the nails with the hand file. I'm just crisping it up, if that makes sense. Like, I don't do too much to it. it. You know, the application was already pretty decent. So, I just went in and just crisp it up a little bit. And then I do file the surface just to make sure that the application was pretty even, which y'all know it was. Yeah. Um. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Y'all, I'm so tired. Like, y'all don't understand how tired I am. I just gave my son the first round of the eye drops y'all i felt so bad because he was screaming and stuff like that but he has to get it um so at 10 30 it's now 8 30 at 10 30 i have to give him the second round of eye drops and then at 11 30 is his appointment so we gotta leave the house at like 11 because it's like 20 minutes away from the house and then i gotta drop off i have three orders i have to drop off y'all the the brown collection the six shades of brown collection give me the eye drops riley give it to me you're too enough the six shades of brown collection is almost sold out i think i have like one or two units left so that's pretty exciting i'm so exhausted so i have to stop at after his appointment his eye doctor appointment i have to stop at um the post office drop off these packages and then i have to stop at the supermarket to get some cabbage um to get some cabbage and some uh onion um and some stuff like that because i did take out some meat out the freezer i'm gonna cook some curry goat do y'all like goat meat it's so freaking good i'll make some curry goat with some white rice and some steamed cabbage um i swear if you follow me again i promise i'm gonna push you through the window <laughs> play with your mama don't play with me um so yeah that's what's on the menu for today some white rice some curry gold and some steamed cabbage y'all be throwing down in the kitchen Riley, stop i be throwing down in the kitchen like y'all just don't know i'll be making oxtail like i cook real real, real good i don't know if y'all remember but like sometime last year i did a post on my youtube saying that i wanted to start you know incorporating cooking videos on my youtube like this was like a year ago or something like that and then I literally recorded two videos and then I just never posted them. What did I make? I think I made like some jerk chicken pasta, some jerk chicken alfredo. And then I also made like some coconut curry shrimp and I recorded the videos and stuff like that. And I just decided not to publish it because I don't know. I got these old ass Dutch pots. I got these old ass Dutch pots and shit. And I don't want you to, I feel like top and eyes on the top and eyes. And I feel like, I don't know, if I'm sitting here recording videos and stuff cooking, I want to have brand new pots, but I got these. Y'all know, if you Caribbean, then you know we got these old-ass Dutch pots. These big-ass silver <laughs> Dutch pots that been passed down from generations, bitch. That's what I got, but shit, I don't care because the best meals are made out of them hoes. Anyways, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'm for the cook, so I got to do that. And y'all, they about to... Y'all, stop! Right, you throw it at him, I'm going to make him throw it back at you. Leave him alone. Y'all stop. It's too early in the morning for this and I'm too tired. 
I don't have a patience today for this. I don't. Y'all, they do too much. And it, it, it's not even Edgar. It's Riley. Riley be tormenting him. She know what she be doing and she think it's funny. Riley, get back up on the bed. Riley, don't play with me. Get back up on the bed now. Up on the bed. So, yeah, y'all. That's what's on the menu for today. Um, Y'all, they done distracted. I know you're not throwing stuff and I done cleaned this room. Okay. Um, I'm about to be going in with the French. So for the gel polish I'm going to be using is from Not Polish. It's called I Don't Kiss Until. I am also going to be using the I Don't Kiss Until um, acrylic powder to go in with some 3D flowers. Now for the 3D flowers, you guys, I only did like a half, a flower and a half. And I feel like I should have went in with another flower. But y'all, I was so tired. I was supposed to go live. That was, I did these on Tuesday, actually. I did these nails on Tuesday. And I was supposed to go live right after. But then I just felt so freaking tired. So I didn't end up going live on Tuesday. And that was that. But this is me doing my fringe. They turned out so cute. Literally, like, all of them. Like, the, everything about this set was so cute. I just wish I would have went in and did that other flower and i was like girl you think i should put another flower she was like yeah i'm like all right i'll put another flower and i just never ended up doing it because i was just so exhausted and so tired it was just something about pouring more monomer and taking my damn brush back out that just wasn't sitting right with me i was just really exhausted so yeah i'm gonna let y'all watch this after this i'm gonna go on with a beetles silver holographic gel polish to do my french for the bling nail y'all know when y'all do bling nail um, it's very, very crucial that you guys go with that holographic background so that when you place your bling down, you won't be able to tell if there's like any gaps or stuff. It won't be as noticeable as if you just put, put the bling just on the nail just as is.
Alrighty y'all, so for the Bling French, I am going to be using the McCart, um Rhinestone Glue Applicator Brush thing. And yes, before y'all ask, yes, I do have my own gem gel, but I'm trying to use up all this stuff that I have. Um, I'm going to be going with a mixture of these, um, these um, three flowers and these AB rhinestones i did purchase these off sheen i they are actually really high quality i absolutely love them i'm just gonna do a mixture of those i added this cute little butterfly right there like y'all i did my big one on these on these bling french like it just looks so freaking cute and um, i'm just gonna go in with like a different mixture of sizes wherever i need to and that's pretty much it do y'all see what i mean when i say you add that holographic background it's not gonna you're not gonna be able because y'all it's a lot of gaps in this but you're not gonna be able to see it because i did go in with the holographic background so i'm gonna be doing the same thing for this nail i'm gonna add you know the three flowers i'm gonna be adding the rhinestones i'm gonna add a little heart to this one as well like it just turned out so cute um there's no right or wrong way to do this just don't overthink it just you know my opinion and my suggestion is to go in with that holographic background um oh also another tip when you're doing bling frenches do not apply no rhinestones or nothing on the sides of the nails keep everything exactly on top of the nails or it's, the shape is going to look really bulky and i don't like that at all so but i mean that's just my tip in my opinion that's because you know y'all know we learn from each other so that's what 
that's all I have to say when it comes to bling Frenches. Use a holographic um, background for the French and also do not place nothing on the sides of the nails because it's going to ruin the shape. And basically, if that was the case, you should never went in with the hand file and file because that would have been a waste of time. Um, so pretty much after I do this, I'm going to carry it in my lamp for 60 seconds and then I am going to go with my 3D flowers using the acrylic by not polish called I don't kiss and teal. It's like their trio set. It comes with the acrylic, the gel and the, the lacquer. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm going to be going with my 3D flowers using a size number two nail art brush. Um, I know, I don't know, like it just looks incomplete because I only did like a flower and a half. I should have went in with the full flower at the bottom, but I just did it. I was so tired. I was going to. I really wanted to, but um, I did not. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing on this nail and the next ring finger. And then I am actually going to top coat using my Kusari. I think that's the brand. I got it in one of those like acrylic kits like a long, long, long time ago when I first started out buying nail supplies. So I'm trying to use up all this stuff that I got, y'all. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Oh, top coat. Oh, I just said that. Y'all, I told you I'm tired. I'm forgetting stuff that I said right now. Um, I'm going to... What is it? Add cuticle oil and stuff. I actually recorded a video the other day of me recreating my very first nail set. It was so fun. Y'all are going to love that video because Riley is in that video. She made a quick little appearance on that video. Um, so, yeah, I rec recreated my first very nail set um, just to do, you know, different type of video, a fun little video. Let me open these blinds in the kitchen so we can get some natural sunlight in here and turn off the light because we're running up the light the electric bill. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, y'all, thank y'all so much because y'all kept me awake y'all so i'm in the kitchen now i'm about to season up this meat and get it started because y'all know goat meat take a couple hours to cook so i'm gonna start it now so that by the time i come home it will be the dinner will be done by the time my husband gets off work so he can have food to eat um look at me doing wifely shit <laughs> Anyways, y'all, this is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment down in the section. In the comment section down below, I'll be sure to get back to you when I can or if I can. But just know I'll be seeing y'all comments. Um, oh, another step that I forgot to mention. It doesn't matter what shape I do. Every single nail set I do after I'm finished, especially if I have like French nails, I always like to go in after I do my top coat and I cure it. I like to go in with my hand file and just file it up because sometimes the gel polish do get the sliding on the sides of the nails and for me personally i don't like when the gel polish is at the the free edge of the nail like right there so i just don't like the look it gives so i'm gonna go in with my e-file and just e-file away the extra gel polish that got on the front of the nail um that's another tip i can give you guys um so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm gonna see you guys in my next one don't forget to put god first in everything you do and i'll see you on my next one bye